At one point, the Navajo Nation had the highest rate of COVID cases in the U.S., but when vaccines became available, the community quickly ramped up efforts to get shots to residents. Cronkite News health reporter Camila Williams takes us to Tuba City, Arizona, to show us how one healthcare group is working to further increase those vaccination rates. This is what we do. This is what we prepare for. This is what we trained for. But this is not what Joe Baca thought he was signing up for when he started working as a healthcare social worker for Tuba City Regional Healthcare. When COVID-19 was declared a pandemic in March 2020, Baca feared for his own health and that of his family. I think I had been overwhelmed and um, I felt like if I were to get sick, I'm not going to make it. Baca wasn't sure he could continue his job, but with encouragement from his fiance, he found a new passion for serving the community. She really, again, brought everything into perspective and reminded me of what I was capable of and what, why I went into the area I went into. Almost two years later, Baca is still finding a way to help these days by simply going down the street. Baca helps out at this mobile medical unit, greeting residents driving up for COVID vaccines, boosters or flu shots. During the pandemic, the clinic has been a key way to provide COVID testing and vaccinations for the Navajo Nation. Two to four times a week, the clinic stops at various locations across the reservation, serving about 20 patients a day. During the height of the pandemic, those numbers were far higher. We went into the um, doing COVID tests out in the community, um, pretty much um, blitz where we were um, handling at least over a thousand. Um, visits at one time. Clarissa Begay is the referral coordinator for Tuba City Regional Healthcare. Begay said Facebook and Instagram posts help spread the word about vaccine availability. 58% of the Navajo Nation is fully vaccinated, according to the Navajo Department of Health. In all, over 39,000 tribal residents have contracted COVID-19 and over 1,500 have died. Valentina Nez knows how important it is to be vaccinated to help keep her, her family and friends and neighbors safe. It was scary because you just don't know who has COVID and you just want to protect yourself and you think about your family as well and then also your coworkers. We have so many elders, we have so many young children, we don't know what the effects are on them and we lose our elders and just even young people. So it's, it's a good thing. On Tuba City's Regional Health Medical Unit, they have adult primary care and child wellness. However, if you're coming here for another reason, like getting the COVID-19 and or your flu shot, you'll have to wait in your car. Begay says there will be a second mobile unit to reach more people and go out to schools to give children the vaccine. And the good thing with our mobile unit is um, us traveling to different communities, we can take it out to the community. And as the day comes to an end, those working at this mobile clinic know they have done their part to help protect this hard hit community from any more losses to COVID. In Tuba City, Camila Williams, Cronkite News. With a second mobile unit, Begay says there are plans to offer dental care and more vaccination drives are expected.